will take part in this state level. Prince Supruto, come junior football tournament 2024. Abiding by the rules and regulations without doping and drugs. With respect and integrity in true sportsmanship, spirit for the glory of sports. Thank you. I would also like to thank the Department of Youth Resources and Sports for taking this initiative, for organizing the first of a kind in our state, a Prince Brodo Come Junior football tournament for under 15 boys and under 17 girls. I know this is the first step that we have taken, but everything starts with a small step, so we have big hope and belief that one day with such kind of initiative we will see football progressing and developing at new heights. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Ketozi Tiosekose, uh, NCS, the Director of Youth Resources and Sports, Nagaland. Today we are starting the first state level pre subroto Cam Junior Tournament. And this is a tournament organized in collaboration with the Nagaland Football Association. And uh, it is for boys under 15 and for girls it is under 17. This tournament has been organized as a uh, uh, follow up to the district level tournaments that were, that were conducted in all the 16 districts in the state and uh, from there the best team has been selected to represent the district and uh, each team consists of players from a single school because Subroto Mukherjee Cup requires that uh, the players have to be from a, the same school they cannot have combination of players and uh, they have also been asked to bring their documents uh, to ensure that they are under the eligible age. And we have uh, set up an age verification committee. We have also set up other technical committees to look after the smooth conduct of this tournament. The winner of this tournament for under, four, under 15 boys, the winner will represent the state in the, pre, uh, in the Subroto Mukherjee Cup, which is likely to be held uh, by the end of July or first week of August. And uh, the winner in the under-17 girls also will represent the state uh, in, the pre uh, in the Subroto tournament. And uh, the girls team will go to Delhi and the boys team will go to Bangalore. This year we decided, the department, the government decided to uh, organize this tournament to ensure that the best team is selected and it is selected in a transparent as well as in a very fair manner following all the rules and regulations of the Subroto Mukherjee Cup. So that is what we are planning and that is what we have been doing. Uh, yesterday we had uh, about 12 teams which have reported to the Indira Gandhi uh, Stadium where they are being uh, uh, hosted. And uh, out of the 12 teams, we have done age verifications. Today, some more teams will be coming. And this is in the form of a league match. So the boys uh, are divided into four groups. And uh, the group winners will play the uh, semi-final and thereafter the final. And there will be also a, a third place uh, 
match also. Then for the girls team, also the we have about 11 girls team registered with us as of today. The girls team will be arriving uh, from tomorrow onwards. Though we have already uh, the Mokok Chung team which has already reached, uh, we the other teams will be coming starting from tomorrow only. And uh, the girls matches will start uh, from Monday onwards. And they also will be in the form of a league come knockout. So that is what the, that is how the program is being organized. And the selected teams, uh, we are planning to organize along with the NFA special coaching camp for the selected team. And uh, we hope to play, we hope to let the teams represent the state in the spirit of sportsmanship first. And then if uh, God willing, maybe even uh, uh, you know have a standing in the national level this is the first time we are organizing in collaboration with the nfa uh, if you uh, look back subroto murkoji cup was earlier organized by the uh, subroto murkoji uh, society but uh, th this year onwards the subroto murkoji um, educational and sports society has uh, tied up with the uh, Indian Football Federation, All India Football Federation. And in similar manner, uh, our department, our state government also has tied up with the Nagaland Football Association, which is a subsidy, which is a unit of the All India Football Federation. So in that way, we uh, are pla this is going to be the first of its kind for the state. Earlier two pre-Subroto uh, tournaments used to be organized. But uh, pre suborto tournaments, uh, uh, organizing such pre suborto tournaments earlier did not involve this kind of logistic uh, things. And it was not a junior football tournament, it was just a pre selection uh, sort of tournament. So this year, what we have done is for the first time at the district level also, we organize uh, pre suborto and uh, at the state level also in a big manner where all the districts are being represented, we are organizing. And we are being very strict with the age, as well as the uh, schools. Uh, I mean, the students have to belong to, the team has to belong to a single uh, school only. This tournament will go on till the 11th. On the 11th, we have the closing function. On the 12th, the teams will depart for their respective districts. So in the district level, when you did the selection, how was the response from the district level? Uh, being a first of its kind, the response uh, is not up to what we would want. But uh, I think over the years, with uh, more publicity, with more uh, you know involvement, I think that will change. So this being first, we we are quite happy that in some districts ten teams came, in some districts uh, four teams came, in some districts there were hardly any team. And uh, like this year also, girls team we wanted from 16 districts, but uh, unfortunately uh, the timing also is clashing with the uh, school school exams, particularly for class 8 and 9. And uh, it is in class 8 and 9 where the girls team normally comes, but uh, since it is clashing, we have a little lesser response. But I hope in the days to come, uh, with the district football associations becoming more and more active, with the NFA becoming more and more professional, uh, I'm sure changes uh, will be coming. And as you have seen uh, in the recent Nordic Games uh, at Dimapur or the Nagaland Olympics at uh, Chumukedima, we have seen that the, our Nagaland Olympic Association has become very professional now. And uh, that's all thanks due to the Honorable Chief Minister, who is a sports enthusiast himself and who is also the minister in charge of our department. And uh, with his support, we are able to do a lot of things now. And uh, with more infrastructure coming in this year itself again, I'm sure the percolation of sports to the grassroots is taking place in a very positive manner. And these are uh, things which um, let us even, uh, you know, understand that uh, sports has uh, the modern sports has actually percolated into the uh, districts now
Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.